All right, today we're going to do a teardown of Ryan Robinson's website and what a website teardown is. We're going to look at it through a few different lenses here. And so Ryan does a really good job uh, on this site. He's grown up to, I think, 500,000 visitors. So he's got uh, a lot of fantastic content, a lot of stuff that's ranking well. Uh, but ultimately, I think any website uh, is going to have areas for improvement. So we're going to be looking at it both from an SEO standpoint, from a UX conversion type standpoint, uh, and then also a little bit on the technical side of, of looking at uh, things like schema and uh, heading types and things like that. So I think the most important thing when I'm walking through and doing one of these website teardowns is not to just look at it in isolation or in a vacuum, uh, but instead trying to navigate the site in the way in which a user is going to navigate the site and P there's different use cases right like someone might enter in on the home page someone might enter in through a blog someone might enter in uh through an affiliate link there's a lot of different ways someone could enter into a site right so i want to kind of take us through these pathways and show you how we look at these sites and which will illuminate how we think about improving them so Let's start with a home page. Uh, out of the gate, we can talk about the menu in just a second. Um, so I just want to start by like kind of working our way down the page and how the information is structured. So we've got uh, a good headline, I feel like. Learn how to start a blog and grow a side business. Very succinct to the point. Tells you exactly what Ryan's uh, shtick is here, right? Like he's teaching you how to blog and how to monetize it, right? That That's all captured in this headline. So I think he does a really good job with this headline. I don't love having immediately uh, this right here because I don't know what I'm gonna get. This is just telling me like, hey, learn how to start a blog and grow a side business. And that's just like enter your name and enter your email address. I don't, I don't know what I'm getting. Like, am I getting a consultation with Ryan? Am I signing up for a newsletter? And I come, down here and it says sign up to join so-and-so bloggers, freelancers and learning how I started a blog. Again, it's like, you're going to learn, but what am I getting? I'm assuming this is a newsletter question mark. I don't know. So ultimately I would, it's really early to be putting uh, a contact form um, this high on the page. Uh, before you even introduce, uh, tell me anything about it. So, so I'd certainly push this down a bit, even if you were explaining it. So number one, it needs to tell me, sign up to join our newsletter, sign up to get tips in your inbox, sign up to schedule a consultation. Like what am I getting? And instead of a submit button, again, I think this is where some copy can be put here uh, to make it a bit more enticing. Uh, there's, um, lots out there, uh, talking about, you know, how to structure this CTA button, but ultimately what it comes down to is the CTA should reinforce the value that's spelled out above and kind of the title. So it'd be like, um, start getting tips to my inbox every week, right? That would be a, if, if this was like a newsletter or something. All right. So. Uh, moving down, this should just be pushed down a bit, though. I, you know, it can be right under this, um, but I might want to provide a little more value before I make that ask. Okay, going right into this bar here, I'm not sure what I'm clicking on. I've got a guess. I think uh, this is going to take me to like a bunch of different articles, like um, the same way in WordPress that you'd have like categories. So I'm guessing this is a bunch of blogging articles. Yep. Okay. So feature blogging articles. So. Uh, get started learning about these topics like just some kind of header here to just explain uh what's going on here good job of social proof right here uh ryan is um been featured on all these different sites i mean these are just massive names right so uh this is a great spot to keep this um i honestly would probably put this down a little lower i would push this up and i would make sure that this part is at least peaking above the fold. Um, like probably uh, I've been featured on and maybe having like these, um, even if it was uh, 
even if it was at the expense of moving this down. I think this is great. Again, it goes to from I've been featured here to people have said great things about me. Awesome. Uh, again, my eyes are instantly drawn to the center one. And I think about me, I, I could, I could, I could go with this. I mean, this is Ryan selling himself here. So this is a bit like kind of a product page. If you want to put that like Ryan is the product. Um, so I, I think he's done a really good job of selling himself already. I, I might put something about featured content here. He's got my best content podcast about me. I think you kind of take these and combine it with this piece um, and put that together to kind of say like, hey, it's time to now, like these are purely navigational uh, buttons to take someone to the right place. So I'd rather push them towards the most valuable places for them to navigate. Um, and if that's content, great. I know Ryan does some different things like consulting. He's got a course. Uh, so I do think introducing some of those, if if that's where you wanna go is, is the right way. These are just signposts. And so where are you trying to guide people? Um, gets into a little bit about who he is. There it is, hire me as a consultant, get authentic blogging advice. So I think this is, uh, yeah, this is going to one of his articles and this hire him as a consultant. Um, again, some more copy here. This just kind of blends together. Um, and then he gets into uh, a bit deeper breakdown of these posts. This is fine. This is if someone made it this far, um, this is a good way to try and get them to navigate to one of these posts because it's really if this is if he's making most of his money off the affiliate side of things, which I believe he is, uh, this site doesn't have a bunch of ads on it and there's a lot of copy. Um, I mean, it's tons and tons of articles. So I'm assuming he's making money off affiliate. I would assume this is not purely just to hire him as a consultant. Um, and then I would definitely, if someone makes it all the way down here, have like a uh, another call to action down here of, um, hire me as a consultant, uh, sign up for newsletter, blah, 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 right? Like some, some call to action down here at the bottom. All right. So someone's made it through this page. Where's the next place they're going to go. There's a lot of links to how to start a blog. So let's just assume that's the pathway they're going to go. They're going to go to, you know, a, one of a few different areas. They're probably either going to about best content, how to start a blog, maybe these tools right here. Um, I don't know if they're going to navigate to these yet because learn feels like what these are. And I think is learn is uh, again. Okay. So these are the categories. And then this is, this is to sign up for his course. Um, I might actually group this content, best content. Uh, I might group this over here, but I think it's kind of a preference thing. I, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with this. So let's go to how to start a blog. Uh, one thing we forgot to do on the homepage. Let's look at the heading structure on this. Less important on the homepage, but still let's look at it. Uh, I use Ahrefs a lot. I also really like this tool, uh, which is um, uh, SEO. What is it called? Hold on a sec. Um, Meta SEO Inspector. Um, so I, I really like this one. Um, what it does is it's going to show us all the, uh, headings on the page. And so when you're thinking about headings, uh, definitely want to think about it in the sense of, um, can a robot or bot, uh, look at just the titles and understand what this page is about. Same thing from a human standpoint, a lot of people just skim, right? So you want your headings, which pop anyways, uh, to be able to tell the entire story of the page. So, uh, Ryan has this, it's an H2 definitely need to make that an H1. Again, not as big of a deal because it's the homepage and uh, Ryan's probably ranking for his name mostly for this. Um, and then he did some cutesy stuff here with uh, I am and kind of scratched it out. It's It looks a little weird when it see, you see it rendered out. Um, again, this doesn't, against the homepage, I'm not gonna criticize this from like a keywords, but this is where, uh, and we'll get into it in just a second on blogs. These should not be uh, H2s. I don't see what value it is in having them as H2s. Um, 
I would think this should be an H2. This should be an H2. This should be an H2. Um, this is fine. And then it looks like here he's included the icons in the, uh, in the tagging of the H2, which is not ideal. I think if I look at it here, it's actually going to show code. Yeah. So you can see like it's trying to show all this code, um, which is a little confusing. Uh, so I, I don't love that. Um, and yeah, the rest of it, I don't have an issue with. I'm not going to go too deep into the technical side of things here. So, all right, let's go to best content. Let's just out of the gate. We were just there. Let's see if he's doing a good job with his host on WordPress. Um, title looks great. I don't really care about meta description. Google just picks its own meta description at this point uh, based on what you search. Um, perfect. This is my best content guides for blogging. Great. That's what we want to be in H1. It is, um, I don't know where this, okay. Where is that? Hi, I'm Ryan Robinson. Uh, okay, cool. Um, want some of my best content again, call to action. I don't know what you mean by more of my best content. Is this a newsletter? Um, I'm going to assume so, but not sure. So, uh, Oh, so we're in the best content one. I actually want to go to the how to here first. All right. So yeah, he's got, this is the H one, how to start a blog and make money in six easy steps. Great. Um, what is a blog? Great. Uh, I just want to stop here for a second. Cause these are H threes and I really like this. Uh, these are great ways to capture some longer tail keywords. And so he's made these H3s, which he absolutely should have. That's a nice job with that. Um, and then these terms, what I would really want to see is these are all like FAQs, right? So each one of them is an FAQ. And what you want to do is wrap that in FAQ schema. And he has not done that. So if I go here, I went to uh, Google's rich results test. So you just type in Google rich results test and you'll, and you'll see the, the result here. Um, and you don't see anything that is FAQ schema. FAQ schema is going to do two things. One, it's going to give you better chance to rank in the uh, people also ask or as they now call it others want to know OWKs, I guess you'd call them. Um, so good chance to rank here. But the other thing it does is I, I'm all about real estate on the SERP. And real estate means how much space does your uh, result occupy? So like this is a lot of space, right? A lot of space here. That's what happens when you get a featured snippet. You get your listing and plus you get like this big snippet here. Then you could be here in the uh, in the others want to know section. Um, and then you start getting these, right? So these are little site links. Um, this is Wix's, right? Here's Ryan's right here. And then if I come down to Neil Patel's, you can see I've already clicked on this one. Uh, Neil has these. Right. So he's taken up a little more real estate because of this and how he's gotten this is he used FAQ schema. And I could show you that, that he has right here. Uh, if I go to his test results, he's got right here, detected structured data. He put an FAQ schema in. And if I look at what he's written, he's made it. How do I create a successful blog? Boom, the text. What are some options? Boom, the text. Right. And so that's what Ryan needs to do on this is just wrap it in the schema. And so uh, let's see, I've pulled this up here, which is we've got us. Uh, this is what we use to generate. It makes it way easier. You just, uh, this is technoseo.com. So you can just type that into schema markup generator. Uh, you come here and then you just choose like, I want to do a FAQ page, right? And then you just type in your questions and your answers. And it's going to generate the schema for you. And then you're going to put it on uh, the site. So um, that's a great way to, to leverage what he's already doing really well on this blog. So as we continue to move down here, just gonna look what we've got here. Get your blog online, great web hosting, boom. And then here's where we see the affiliate links, uh, obviously. So um, keep moving down, choose your hosting plan. Um, Again, uh, pick your uh, blog's domain name. He's doing a good job on internal linking here. Really like seeing that. 
looks like he's got some tools, right? So, um, oh, he's got it. Is this live in here? That's pretty slick. I like that, Ryan. Nice. Um, again, moving down. So uh, ultimately, he's doing a really good job just in terms of like the layout of this. Um, and I'm guessing this is ranking pretty well. If we look at uh, how much traffic he's getting to this. Uh, we're talking about like 21,000 visits. This is Ahrefs. I, I generally take this and increase it by a factor of about three. There's a lot of traffic and keywords that Ahrefs isn't capturing um, that if you were to pull Search Console, um, I'm going to say he's getting a lot more than this. Um, 6,800 keywords, probably ranking for a lot of stuff around how to start a blog. Exceptionally difficult term to rank for as well. So uh, doing a good job on that. Uh, video you saw here, he has video schema. So he's got a good chance to show up for, um, video results. And if Ryan were to look into his search console, he'd be able to see, uh, is his page getting site and, uh, appearances for, um, video, meaning like in these SERP results, sometimes it'll have a video up here at the top. So it'd be like, if I did like how to start a blog, you can probably get videos on this one potentially. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Yep. So, uh, it looks like Katie's got this one. Uh, there's some additional ones. Um, and so there may need to be some optimization done on these videos. Uh, but let's see how to start a blog. There you go. Ryan made it into uh, third on there. So if you go to kind of the video tab, he's appearing for that. Um, so interesting that hers is, is it off of her, how to start a blog? Interesting. Uh, they just plop that one in there. It's not ranking the top four um, in the actual video section. So if I go up here and click videos, uh, it doesn't look like hers is number one. So uh, Ryan's done a good job here, um, potentially optimizing this one. So, all right. Because this is a massive page, as I'm, as I'm looking at this, the one thing I really would like to see is within each of these sections, I know he's naturally linking into these, and then he's got kind of his FAQ, uh, and this, these are massive, um, is I'd really like to see under each, at the end of each H2, additional reading and just maybe like four or five, like what would I go to next? I may even suggest something better that should be done in a new way to structure this site. Uh, and people talk about hub and spoke all the time, but what would be great to see on this is, uh, is structuring this in a learning format. And I'm going to show you what I mean. This is a site called learning seo.io. And what they're doing is they're taking you through how to learn about each piece of content. And uh, it's giving you kind of a step-by-step. -step. And, and that is essentially what Ryan's site is, is a step-by-step -step on how do you start from scratch, make a blog and make money, right? A to Z here. Um, and so you, you would have kind of like taking content and grouping it in a way of like, what is the, what do I have to do first? All right, now what do I need to be thinking about second and third and fourth and fifth? And then what is the like optional stuff, right? So as you get into this, like um, you start getting into you know, learning about like the, the heavier technical side of things, learning with like, how do you keep up with news? So it's kind of like, Hey, here's all the places you go. If, uh, you know, blogs, you should be following, uh, in addition to mine, or here's newsletters you should subscribe to here's free tools, right. Um, that you can use. So for Ryan, he's got some free tools on his site, but until he builds out kind of all of them, you know, having that kind of like, here's all the tools section, right? An easy way to get to it. And here's what I'd suggest uh, if I, if Ryan were asking me for my opinion, luckily this is my video, so I, no one has to ask me, I can just give it. So what I would say is, I think Atlassian does a fantastic job of this, of giving a bit of a step-by-step, -step, how do you learn to do, uh, how do you learn about a given topic? And I'm gonna show you what they've done. I'm gonna jump over here. I just pulled up Atlassian and what they have is these are like the different topical areas and it walks you through step-by-step -step of if you wanted to learn about project management, right? 
uh, and it just walks you all the way through. And the overview, which is kind of like the 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 main article, too many requests, huh? Weird. Huh. Okay, I actually had to open it up in incognito here. Uh, so what they've done really well is this is like the overview. This is the main article, everything about what uh, project management is. And then there's kind of like the step-by-step -step through, which mirrors this on the, on the left side. And these are all separate articles. Um, and then it takes you through kind of the high level, works you all the way down, um, and then up next, right? So this is now turned it into, and you see this now at the bottom, like up next, project management intro, again, up next user workflow. And it's just like a very clear way to navigate through. And now contrast that with uh, Ryan's site, where if I were to go to, he's talking me through how to make a blog within a single article. But if I go to his uh, learn and learn about blogging, I've got featured and I've just got everything, right? And these are, these look like they're all done in somewhat of a chronological order. Um, and so they it would really be beneficial um, to their user base to be able to group these up. It would also be very valuable from an SEO standpoint to have them hubbed in a way where the linking is very intentional. So people think about linking and they just want to link, oh, all these are related, so we're going to link all 20 of these together. Uh, but a better way to do it is have it like a natural progression of, um, hey, you're learning about this. Here's the next one you learn about, learn about this, next one you learn about. And throughout those articles, you can still link to other pieces, uh, but having like a clear pathway for someone to go and thinking about if I were trying to learn how to blog, is this laid out in the way that's very useful for me? Um, and I would say it is useful. It could be more useful. Uh, again, the, he's reusing this. This makes way more sense on the blog section to be able to kind of jump to these. It becomes very clear. Contextually, it makes a lot more sense than it did on the homepage. All right. The other thing that I want to cover uh, in this is look at what if someone enters in on the blog, which is going to be way more likely. If you look at what I want to know is where are most people coming into Ryan's site? So an easy way to do this, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to look at his uh, domain um, with alt subdomains. I just want to look at what pages uh, are getting the most traffic here. So I'm just going to go down to top pages on his site. And I want to look how people are running. So the first one, no surprise. Oh, best business. Uh, to start while working a full-time job. Okay, great. So this one appears to be getting the most traffic right after how to start a blog, right? So actually in position seven for this, I think this one probably matches his user base, but I haven't looked at this one yet. So let's go to this page. Uh, I'm just gonna jump over to it. All right, so someone enters on this page. Uh, it's a great article, free guide that breaks it down. What we want to think about here is what do we want someone to do next? We obviously want them to navigate the site a bunch um, because it gives us more opportunity for them to click on affiliate links. Um, we also want them to sign up for presumably a newsletter of some sort. Uh, he's got this how to start a blog here. Um, and you can see he's got uh, all these as a... I think this is a table of contents. So for it looks like it's a different table of contents and wow, that's way too much. Okay, that's this is a massive table of contents. Uh, I don't know that I would lay it out like this because um, 100 and there's 102, uh, but a oh, 30 more, okay. Um, it's just a lot to scroll through uh, before you get to the content. There's gotta be a better way to lay this out, but. Ultimately, um, what you want to do here is someone has entered here. You've got obviously a ton of links here, um, providing someone with a really clear way uh, to jump to somewhere else on the site if they want to. You have this up top. You're already talking about like business ideas. Someone starts getting into it, reading, 
Um, to be able to have something like it was on the Atlassian site, uh, which I'm going to pull up over here. Have this where you have these like core articles up towards the top is going to be really valuable. Uh, just because you're putting it in the mindset of uh, what else might users want to see. I think another thing that you could do is also use that ribbon that Ryan's used uh, in other places um like here oh, interesting um here uh it it there could be value in either having this on like a sidebar uh or another nav bar um uh, on that page as well all right so i'm back on that blog i was before he's got this giant list and if we get all the way down the bottom, I bet this is like tens of thousands of words, 21,000 words. Wow. It's a massive article. So if I get all the way down to the bottom here, there's a ton of comments. Great. I think that's good. He does a good job down here at the bottom. Um, and then more of this, this is kind of like his built-in footer, which I kind of like. It's a good way. Uh, you've obviously got a ton of linking here going on uh, from these. Um, so overall, these are these are solid. Um, I think it's valuable to have the comments on there, the user-generated stuff. Um, but overall, a couple, a couple fixes you could make, and uh, I think it would clean it up quite a bit on this one. The last thing to touch on here is going to be uh, this menu bar, because it, it's really, I, I don't know what purpose it's serving to have, uh, you got best content, which I think if you're going to do that, just have this, how to start a blog and maybe a couple others underneath that. Then you have blog, which I don't like. It's just a giant list of the, of blogs that's paginated. I, I can't imagine anyone ever using this. And all you're doing is providing an opportunity to, for someone to navigate to a less useful place on the site. Uh, certainly learn is better. Um, learn isn't actually clickable. Um, but I'd say navigating to these is more valuable. The best content uh, is a little better laid out. Um, this is the other way in which people do uh, hubs, which is like they'll just have kind of like groupings going down the page. Um, again, this is a massive list of like must read. Uh, this is, this feels like an attempt to just get as many links on the page as possible to decrease the depth of the site. Uh, I understand why you would do it. I just think there's a better way to lay all this out, uh, in a way that's going to be, um, a little better than like must read. Like this could just get broken down into like where to start, um, uh, and then getting your hosting and. Uh, and the way to do that, just be take all these, just start grouping them together, like look at the titles and sticky notes, just kind of come up with categorization and start there. It's a good first start. And all it takes is um, utilizing like an H3 here. It would say like getting started um, and then, you know, uh, getting hosting and then just putting these links underneath those kind of subcategories. I think that about covers it. Uh, again, Ryan's doing a ton right on this site. Uh, I've picked at a lot of different things, but uh, I will probably steal some ideas from this in terms of templating and certainly love this. I'm uh, going to take this idea. I like. I just like how this looks. Uh, I think he should be doing it on all his blogs. Uh, the sticky is, is obviously great, and I really like this. I'm definitely going to take this um, as a way to input uh, FAQs throughout a blog. Uh, that's a, that's a really slick way to do that. All right. That's it. Let me know your thoughts.